Hello everyone, my name is John Paul Honnett. I am a paleontologist with the Maryland National Capital Parks and Planning Commission. I am right here in Mammoth Cave National Park, assisting the National Park Service, not only with National Fossil Day, so happy National Fossil Day, but I'm here uh, announcing a very important new uh, fossil discovery right here at Mammoth Cave. Uh, right behind me is a mural of what Mammoth Cave used to look like uh, approximately 330 million years ago. And what this represents is the St. Genevieve Formation, which is a major bedrock um, that forms part of the cave. And living in the water were a variety of different kinds of animal species. Uh, dominant here are lots of invertebrate animals, uh, things like crinoids, which are also known as sea lilies. Uh, there are brachypods, which are shell clam-like animals that was pretty dominant uh, back at this time. Um, but what we're really excited about, of course, are the shark species. And uh, what we have discovered so far since November of 2019 are over 40 different species of sharks that once called Mammoth Cave home. Some of the sharks here are uh, large. The largest ones are about the size of a great white or bigger. And then we have tiny little sharks. Some of them are much not bigger than minnows. Um, but for the sake of showing you guys what we've got, we have found large shark teeth. So this is a shark called uh, Cladotus mirabilis, uh, which is about the size of a great white uh, alive today. We have also found relatives to modern ratfish. Um, this is, was a shark called Petalotus. Petalotus was a type of shark that actually used clipping teeth to crush and uh, break up invertebrate animals such as crinoids. And then, of course, we also have the true ratfish, a group of uh, cartilaginous fish that are still alive today that are close kin to what we consider modern sharks. And they have flattened pavement-like teeth that are used to crush shell organisms. So not only are we finding uh, teeth of sharks at Mammoth Cave, but we are actually finding some very exciting uh, specimens, including actual shark skeletons. One of the most exciting discoveries we found is actually the jaw of a large shark called Cybotus striatus. Cybotus striatus was previously only known for over 100 years only by teeth. So this is the first skeletal evidence of this giant shark uh, here in North America and in uh, Mammoth Cave. What we have found of Cybotus is essentially parts of a skull. The most prominent fe uh, anatomical feature is the lower jaw. So we found uh, exposed in the cave wall uh, a jaw this picture is approximately a life size that's over two and a half feet long. Um, this has been a shark uh, at a great white uh, size. So not only did it have the jaw, but it had a number of teeth, which actually helped us identify uh, as Cybotus. So the mural you're seeing here was done by paleo artist Julius Sistoni, and he re reconstructed Mammoth Cave 330 million years ago at the bottom of an ancient seaway. Center of this mural is the carcass of Cybotus striatus that we have found within the cave walls. Um, as you see, it's actually being fed upon by other uh, prehistoric sharks. We have found dozens of tiny little shark's teeth, suggesting that smaller sharks may have fed upon this carcass 330 million years ago. Just above the carcass, looming in the background, is a living Cybotus striatus, which is a, again a shark that is about the size of a living great white. So not only are we finding uh, skeletal remains of a giant shark such as Cybotus, we've also found the skeletal remains of a smaller shark called Glycmonius. Now what's exciting for us about Glycmonius, not only are we finding skeletal remains, but we're also realizing that this is the oldest representation of the species Glycmonius ever found in North America. So the Glycmonius material that we found in the cave was actually a little bit more complete than the Cybotus fossils that we found. The Glycomania specimen is, is more complete with both upper and lower jaws and parts of the gill arches, including also a number of small teeth. Now, some of these fossils are extremely difficult to get into with the cave. So to document these fossils, we are using photogrammetry techniques to capture the 3D images of these sharks uh, so that we can actually take the information back and 3D print them uh, for our museum collection. The discovery of fossil sharks at Mammoth Cave came about during a National Park Service paleontological resource inventory. These paleontological resource inventories help us capture information about our fossil heritage at our national parks. 
These paleontological resource inventories help national parks understand uh, the types of fossils they have within their facilities and how they can help use them to educate the public on the paleontological uh, resources that they can find when they come visiting our national parks. Well folks, thank you again for listening to me about our latest and amazing discoveries of fossil sharks here at Mammoth Cave National Park. My name is John Paul Hodnett, and please stay tuned to our social media pages and the Mammoth Cave National Park Service website for all our latest new discoveries on our ongoing research and paleontological resource inventory right here at Mammoth Cave.